Welcome to Intro to Extra Normal by the Mary F. English Program. Extra Normal is a website that lets you produce animated videos with talking 3D characters. When you create a username, you receive about 300 credits for free, with which you can make about two free cartoons. But after that you'll need to pay for an account, or start a new one to receive another 300 credits. So to get started, you would log into your account. And once we're logged in, we can see the videos that we've already made under the My Stuff tab. And we can watch other people's videos and see what's trending right now through the, the Watch tab. And most importantly, there is the Create tab, which lets us pick which actors and what setting we want to use in our video. Notice you can use one actor or two actors uh, in each of these videos. And there's some cool stuff like the Big Lebowski. But the fancier stuff like Big Lebowski you'd have to pay uh, it's not covered in your free 300 credits I think it's about 400 credits to to use some of these options but I have used the presidents with two actors to make a video and it cost me about 140 credits to to make this so to demonstrate I'll go to my stuff to open the video I already created I'm gonna edit a copy you would do the same thing just by creating a new one. You'd see the same stuff, but we'll see a video already created using this path. So here's where you would select the setting for your video. I've got them in front of the White House. You can select what actors you want to uh, use in the presentation. We got Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, Sarah Palin. So it's up to you. Um, you can also select the second actor right here, and you can choose what voice you want to use for each of them with these pull-downs. You can also insert sounds in your presentation by clicking this tab. Right now I have children at a park sound effects and no background music. Unfortunately, you can't upload your own music. Uh, you can only use from their pre-selected sounds. And over here with the story tab is where you'll do the bulk of your creating of your video. So this works by you select who you want to be saying a certain dialogue which you type in yourself. And if you want to add more dialogue you click the add a script block. You can also use your own voice but in this uh, presentation I've used the text to speech which gives them a robotic voice that's kind of creepy but gets the job done. And so here we see a new text box which we don't actually want so I'm going to click the X button. And a good way to set up your extra normal is to take some note cards and just write on each note card the lines you want your characters to say and then just uh, take those note cards and insert it into the presentation. If you don't want to customize your camera angles you can leave the auto cameras button selected. This is automatically going to bounce around with different camera angles to keep your animation interesting without you having to individually insert camera angles. Uh, it's not as good or as polished as if you insert the camera angles yourself, but it will keep it more interesting and it saves a lot of time. So if you don't want to use auto camera angles, you're going to drag and drop the camera button wherever you want a new angle to take place. And then there should be about 10 different angles you can choose from and they vary in standard positions you can get closer further away see both of your actors at the same time just like that and then hit apply if you want to add it you can also make your characters perform a variety of actions using these buttons you just drag and drop it to the place you want it to happen and you go through there's about 40 poses in here so to give your actor a different you know gesture at different points in the animation one good thing to note is if you insert a motion or a point which is another type of motion you may want to insert it two or three words before when you want the character to do that action because there's kind of like a one second delay before they trigger so if you want him to nod his head yes at a certain time you might want to put it two or three words prior to when you want him to nod his head over here you can insert faces, so if you want to have them have different expressions, there's six of them here. And the look at effect is very useful. It's a good effect if you want 
the uh, character to address the audience directly. Just insert look at current camera. And down here are pauses and sound effects you can insert just like the rest. So to give you an idea of how this works when you put it all together, this is an example where we have it beginning with Abe and then he says, you're right, George. And so he nods his head yes at the time to say that he's right. And then he's going to be disappointed, so we have him nod his head no and make a sad face. And then I switch the camera angle to keep it more interesting. And I want him to give some good news, so I have him joyful. Uh, everyvote.org wants to help you learn about, and so we have him point and look at the camera so we know that we're addressing the audience. So when we put it all together, it will look something like this. I hear Congress's approval ratings are very low these days. You're right, George. Only 15% in February 2013. The good news is everyvote.org wants to help you learn about all of your candidates, federal, state, county, and local, all on a single web page. That would be so con- So there you have it. A few final notes. Uh, Extra Normal for me crashes a lot on different computers and different browsers, so as you do it, I recommend you hit the Save button after every change you make. And I have a hard time with the Preview button working every time. It takes three to five to seven minutes for your preview to generate, and sometimes it'll just load for about five minutes and then say Error. So that's pretty frustrating. I just try again later and it usually works. Then after you're done, you like it, you go to the publish button and you'll spend whatever credits it says it costs and you can download it or publish it to YouTube. And that's about it. If you'd like to learn about another animated character presentation program, check out our Vokey tutorial. Thanks for watching.